Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is about uh, what's in bloom and what's in bud. And um, yeah, um, first uh, month of the year. So let me start here. This is uh, my Lycasti Aromatica. And um, I'm probably gonna put out a spotlight on this one because um, yeah it, it flowered a few months ago just one flower and then this time it put out a lot which is uh usually what aromat the aromatica the um its nature um as far as i know that um it um put out more uh flower they have small flowers well medium size to me and um it put out a lot even though it's um medium size it make up for the number and ants actually love it i have to get i have to push away the p ants here see there they love it there must be some kind of a sweet sap in there that make them you know s come here and it has a cinnamon scent yeah i just take it off sometimes i have that spray but they're inside sometimes you cannot get them out yeah i don't know what to do with that but yeah that's uh like casti aromatica and this one is starting to it's it's finishing blooming yeah the maikai bc maikai Here's my Macadinia multiflora species. She is finally opened and it's fragrant. Very pretty. This one took a while, yeah. Uh, I mean, the flowers last long, yeah, but it's on its way out now. Um, Encyclia, I think the name is in the back there. Yeah, I'm not gonna, sorry. <laughs> um, let me look, yeah, there's another one here, it flowered the oncidium twinkle the white one yeah but i got a bigger one over there yeah and then let me change position so you can see the bud on one of the plant here the one you see uh, red there is that's the name so for night is brevi pendu penduculata I'm gonna um, change position so you can see the front. All right, it's in it's in bloom for a while. See, there's even poop. Uh, I think that's lizard poop. It's been in bloom for a while. Okay, yeah, it's pretty red, and it's like, yeah, look at that size, so pretty. Okay, uh, yeah, the one flower lasts for a long time. Maybe two to three weeks, yeah. Can't remember now. This here is the Dendrobium uh, Spectabili. It's slowly progressing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. See, there's ants again. They're everywhere. I'm gonna show you the angle from this view here. I hope you can hear me. I have to adjust my mic. Alright. That one. So this one is almost done. The Oncidium has still a volume. This one I have to get a better close up look. I have not um, seen the tag of this one. And then behind it is also starting to open. It just started. And this one is my Trichoglotis. It starts to open. Trichoglotis uh, orchidea, yeah, 
we're gonna get a closer look there and then next year is my oncidium see how pretty they she is it just in a small pot and then it puts out it opens up it's like it's an array of fountain of tiny flowers so that's the oncidium twinkle she's still on its origin original pot and next on the right is the um, Silogeny Roshushenei um, done flowering. See, I didn't even take off the old one. But, um, yeah. Isn't she pretty? Okay. And then, uh, I'm just gonna, and then we're gonna go closer look over here. Because, yeah, there are plants that I put in here. It was outside. And uh, because they were in bud and the temperature drops and it's they start flowering. So we're gonna take a closer look on the other side. Okay. This one on Sidium is also, it's been in flower for a while. I have to look at the tag. Um, let's see. Wildcat, golden, red, star. Yeah, that's the name. So she's been here. Um, she get watered when the, the bandas are watered because it drips here down this um, stand. <laughs> Let me go to the other side. So this one flowered for me for the first time. This is um, I showed you I think last year during winter when I got it bare root from brethren oh man I think the tag is trapped um, I'll probably put it in the screen the, the, there's a lot of roots I cannot pull the tag out or else I'm gonna damage I'm gonna break the root see it's like it's snug in there but I'll put out the tag it, now the tag is covered <laughs> so yeah when probably when the when I water the rain get to it I might be able to pull the tag out but yeah but anyway she flowered it flowered for me for the first time look and I think they're selling it again um I saw an, yeah because this is um it I got it uh during winter sale and it was in bloom and it's bare wood so yeah to my delight it flowered for me um if you remember this one this is um i did a video before and this one is uh macradenia multiflora i'm showing you this again because to my surprise this is the old spike right and it's putting a flower again and and this usually the spike looks like very dark like you thought it's dead but uh, don't let it fool you it just looks like that and then it opens with the uh, inner uh, the pink flower yeah tiny flower yeah it's flowering again and this one right here I think it's darker in color than I remembered she was the one with no let's see with no id yeah and um i think let me find the id oh here i wrote it down this is um oops on sijum catatante yeah that's where it is and she's got another spike there so this is catatante And over here is a spiking uh, plant hopefully it will survive I'm gonna put an extra heater when uh, so that's a spike there and this is its first time to flower 
It's mad. Okay. May mga feel yung mga render. Yeah. I think I like the the flower and um yeah. Hopefully this will pull through. It's gonna be its first time to flower because I put it in my back pergola and it's too shady over there it didn't even spike up so i move her here uh, i move her outside actually and then finally i move her here not sure if the spikes gonna pull through not sure because it's got different kind of the color we'll see we'll see um over here is the plant I recently recently got from Raiders. This is the Dendrobium Mini Slum Flake. It's already in flower when I got it. So this is my Oncidium uh, Twinkle. This is the second year it bloom. And every time last year, same thing. She put out a lot of um, spike but this year it's not even as many as last year but uh, because there's like i found that uh, there's mealybugs um in its spike and i have and i cleaned it so yeah so it didn't do that much um damage the next year i'm gonna show the breath here <laughs> anyway yeah that is my Tycho Glottis Orchidea. It kind of flowered early, right? Yeah. And then at the bottom, I have my uh, chiffon. It, it finished flowering. I, I didn't get to uh, video it. My chiffon, lemon chiffon. I kind of um, neglected my chiffon and yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to show it. There's no flower there. But yeah, this is Orchidea, Trichoglodis. And then, I think this one is starts to spike up. But this one is the one in flower. Nice, right? Um, ooh, kind of hard to pull. Oh, it's actually better grow. I can't believe it. It's warp paint sun bulb. Wow. And this is better grow, uh, you guys. The bug babies. Yeah, it's flowering. And the back there, I'm not. It's putting out spikes. And there's dendri dendrobium. Uh, there's a snowflake, not the mini one. There is that snowflake. And then this one um i put out the name the yellow one it's putting it's all starts to open yeah i'll probably put another video of it and then in front of me this is i don't know if you remember i went to the international apopka um sh sale and i got this uh dendrobium tangerinum the first tangerinum i got uh from orchids in bloom and it, she was she's in uh in a mount and yeah so i found her and um yeah she sold it for me and to my delight to my surprise look this one is getting dark here now and mosquitoes following me this one has one spike this one has two spike this one has another spike the back there has two spike there's a spike here you see that and there and then this one has this one has two spike and the back there has one so um yeah i'm not gonna even count but all the canes has spike yeah so wow so I put her here because it's uh, mounted. It will be protected from cold. But there's one tangerinum. 
I left it in the pergola and she seemed to be doing fine so yeah it putting out a lot of uh, spikes here and it's getting a lot of light here in this area so yeah and then we'll this is so I'm just showing you the one here in a uh, polytunnel and this one's been in bloom it starts to fade now the vanda and then we'll move out outside and see what's also in bloom and in bud over there almost forgot on the bottom here next to the tangerinum this one is actually in in bud look there's multiple buds there you see that one there and probably in the back uh, this is the I tried to read it it's the um, fox nugget golden nugget yeah so you'll see when it starts to bloom out yeah there's a lot here in in bud and in spike but hopefully they survive the cold oops on the right side it decided also to put out another um, buds or spikes because it already flowered it flowered again this is the epicatlia um, I cannot read it Hinshin yeah Hinshin Yo I might put it um, the name but anyway yeah that's another one in bud This is uh, Dendrobium White Gray Saddle. It's putting out spikes again. Like three spikes. Yeah. And here is my uh, BC Yellow Bird, I believe. It's fragrant. And it's been in bloom for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't have enough space here to to move back a little bit, but yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm. This one, Sijum is spiking. And next to it, there's two spikes of uh, see mariposa. The three lip. Yeah. It uh it bloomed for me on and off. So. Yeah, you never um. Be out of blooms when you have a lot of different genesis and different, you know hybrids and species there are always plants that's gonna come out in spike or in bloom so that's the nice thing about it here this one is my liparis viridiflora i like the white one it's almost done it was in in bloom and it looks so pretty and i didn't even get a video of it but others are just uh it's budding again so but when there's a lot of them it looks so pretty i think i like the white one um it's just me than the orange one because there's an orange one but i think i like the wh white one better yeah and i showed you this before when it was uh, in flower also last year i believe so yeah it 
blooms again. This one bloomed for me again. It bloomed uh, more last uh, year, but it's just a few months and it bloomed again. So um, it it the camera cannot catch the color. It's darker orange, and yeah, this is. Oop. Martin Wolf with Ariantiaka. Yeah, that's what's the name. But it's very pretty, darker orange and very thick. The petals are really thick, so it lasts long. This one uh, flowered for the first time for me. Yeah, and it's called. Nico James with BLC Kaboom. Yeah. It's a pretty yellow color. Yeah. And this is an orchid actually. Very tiny, cute. And look at the leaves. Yeah, it's been um with me for like um I think she was with me since summertime and for my surprise it flowered again and this is um, Lacarthia Macrantha Alba that's the name so this is in my intermediate uh, climate area here and I s spray her every day actually yeah She's a little bit in a shady spot. But she's a very nice, unusual plant. And the leaves itself is like braided. I like it. So, yeah. And then below here is my um, Ludicia Discolor. Yeah. She is in Spike. Look at. This is a No ID uh, Pelanopsis. And it's putting out a spike now. I mounted it, but I'm not sure I can protect it from the cold snap. So we'll see. It might not survive, unfortunately. This is another uh, BC yellow, yellow bird. Uh, but this one is a 4N. I saw this one in uh, Lowe's months ago, and it starts to flower. Yeah, that's the four N. Mm, yeah, I kinda ne neglected it. It's on the floor. Yeah, but that's the flower. Okay, you guys remember this one? Uh, it was in my haul. Um, yeah, it's a non orchid and it was in a small pot when i got it oh i think i got this one from uh from an orchid show in martin's or i i can't remember now but um anyway i because it needs to be moist and it's a tropical it needs a warmer temperature and and basically it likes to be moist and in, in a shaded area so I put it in a bigger pot because the small pot is just dries up faster. And this is the name. Cleodendrum smithianum light bulb. And it I put it in a bigger pot so I don't have to water a lot. And there's a reservoir on the bottom of the pot. So it's got water reservoir in case it dries out but it's putting a lot of um, blooms a, uh, it's not open yet but yeah so we're gonna have a cold snap i might i don't know i usually 47 degrees it survived in this area and we're gonna get colder i believe 41 degrees so i'm not gonna sh i'm not sure if this will uh, survive here outside, I might put a space there in the shed when it drops in 41 degrees, something like that, because it will probably 
um, uh, freeze the buds and then the leaves will turn yellow that's what usually happens but yeah I usually leave it 47 degrees it's arrived but now it's flowering I might bring it indoors just to it so I can enjoy the blooms but yeah this is a nan orchid and it's arrived in my area I thought it will just uh, grow in south uh, Florida but it's actually doing well here in the central Florida so yeah I have to wait till this one opens right here this one is my dendrobium amethystoglossum it's not a lot of uh, flowers this time but I'm showing you it's budding up yeah this one if you can guess it this one is my dendrobium pendulum I probably gonna do a separate video there are plants um, I feel like I need to do like a spotlight video on them and talk about them more about it and uh, yeah it was in a small mount and the small mount I put it in the bigger mount and I'll talk about it when I do the spotlight ones the spike is open and um, I'm in the buds and um, yeah to my surprise it, it put a bud for me and but I'm not sure I might just in case just to protect it probably a 41 degrees just to protect the bud yeah because the bud will be more sensitive to cold it might survive the whole plant but the bud is the one you're gonna protect so we'll see 47 degrees it survived the buds it's i love it here outside it was in my shaded intermediate area but when the winter came i put it here it got more light so it put out a flower uh, bud for me so yeah all right this one's been in bloom and I know I put a spotlight before so yeah look at that and it puts out a lot of um, cakeys you see that it's just its nature putting out a lot of cakeys and then the old canes will put up flower like this one it's bare of leaves and then it put out flower so uh, this one is the species variety dendrobium I probably put it in the screen I'm not gonna dig in there sometimes I see tiny snakes here or one snake anyway I don't want mm. anyway <laughs> all right guys Symbidium and then more over there Symbidium and then this one is my uh, Louis Fox or Louis Fuchs it's got long spike yeah this one right here I tried to protect it when the temperature dropped to 47 I wrapped them in the freeze cloth freeze protection cloth but they survive but not the spike unfortunately yeah it browned up but this one the spike survived but not sure this is spatulatum dendrobium spatulatum and yeah I, I got it for twenty dollars I think there's even a price there still yeah um they're very hardy but look at how long the spike is I'm not sure I can protect that one I'm not sure I wrap it all and the one here too I wrap it then the temperature dropped to 40s because it's just too cold for the bare bare uh, root plants I mean the bare mounted plants and they are in this tree palm tree something I tried um, last year and yep <laughs> yeah unfortunately it get cold here so we'll see uh this one is in spike the peacock one i don't know if you remember it's spiking again every time i wanna repair it spiking up and then let's see here there's more here 
This one is pink candy, eye candy, it's done flowering now. Yeah, it was pretty. This one is Silagini Cordigera, Cordigera, however you say it. I'll, uh, it opened. It was in spike when I got the plant. And then it took a while for this bud to open. And you see there's still bud still not open. So yeah, a few of them opened already. So it's pretty. Yeah. This one is a freebie, actually, uh, from on eBay. I got um, that I, I I did a video of it, uh, but I haven't posted it. Anyway, um, I might post it. This is a previous recording, but um, yeah, it this one flowered for me. He put out a spike, and this is a uh, Dendrobium Springbird Kurashiki. Yep. Yeah, tiny flowers. It's pretty. You know, kind of dainty kind of look. Yeah. Okay, there's more in bud, but I'm not gonna show you all of them. Um, this ma Okay, this is the last one that's in flower. Yeah, because I, I don't even know. I might protect them during uh, four days. Because they're in bud and they might not make it. So this one is Brazzabora Little Stars. Yeah, it's been in flower. And it's actually almost done. Yeah, flowering. It was in hanging there and I, I put it here. And also this one, I got a lot of Brazzabora. This one is done flowering too. Yeah. So okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you on my next one. Long or short video hopefully. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye now.